I've made it to Stirling now. Um, we just saw the Wallace Monument on the way here, past Bannockburn as well, where the Battle of Bannockburn happened. We're going to get some food before we go to the castle. And we come into this place called the Birds and the Bees. It was kind of highly recommended on uh, the Culture Trip website blog. So we're going to go in there. Apparently, they've got loads of like great British dishes, but international as well. So looking forward to that. How's yours, Travis? You see right in front, that's the Wallace Monument. Main the street. There you go. So, we're in Stirling. We, no we're not. We tried to go to Stirling Castle and we couldn't get parked anywhere. You had to park in the city centre and then get a bus, so we're not doing that. We're now in Dunblane. We're going to go to the cathedral. We need to take you. Well, I was planning just to leave you here. <laughs> just kidding. Here's the cathedral behind us. We're going to go and check that out now. Is Marshall being good in here? Travis? Is it people? Look, this one's got a shield and a sword. See the sword? Okay, do you want to come and find the stairs? This is one of the historic Scotland buildings that are like still in use. So this still people still come here to go to church ceremonies and pray and all those things. Um, it was actually built well it was restored in the 1880s. So a lot of it's not as old as some of the other ones. You can see it's not really ruins, it's still a building. Which is pretty cool. 
There's um, stones and carvings in there from the 10th century, which is pretty awesome. We are just trying to find our way back to the car. It's hard to tell, but up on that hill in the distance is Stirling Castle. Can, you can't see it now, can you? <laughs> we'll wait till it comes back. It's behind the trees. Travis is in, in a big moan. I'll put it back on in a minute. 